What's up wizards, I'm gonna try a new style of video today. We're not gonna do much editing, we're just gonna go one take and I'm gonna show you something cool in the ecosystem. And today it's HotScript, a library of composable functions for the type level. Transform your types in any way you want using functions you already know. Higher order TypeScript, this is basically like, this library is doing something brand new with TypeScript that we've never seen before, which is higher ordered types. Let's take a look. So. Let's go down to this example where we have a pipe function. That pipe function takes in, like is the first thing, anything. So it can take in any input. In this case, it's like a, uh, a bunch of numbers inside a tuple. What it does is it then, as the second argument into pipe, you send it a list of instructions that you want it to perform. So here we're saying tuples.map numbers.add three. So here it's going to add three to each of these numbers. Then you join it with a <laughs> with a dot, right? And then you split it again. So strings.split. So at this point, it's now a string it enters into there. Tuples.map strings to number, then you map over it again, and then like turn it into, back into a number, then you add 10 to each number, and then you sum it up and the result is 95. What? What? Completely bonkers. Completely nuts. But this is apparently how this works. I mean, so this idea then that you can turn, that you can use TypeScript in this way as kind of like sort of creating these higher order types that you then pass to higher other higher order types. You create this beautiful sort of declarative setup. It's actually really, really intriguing. And I want to show you the kind of core of it and why it works that way. So let's imagine that we have this interface transformed to object here. This is a really weird interface because it has one property, which is output. And this output, it basically says, this extends input infer input. So what this is doing is this is a conditional type. It's checking if this extends input infer input, infers the input, and then says the output is key input. So it's basically taking anything that gets passed in on the input and then putting it on the output as this object key thing here. So what you can do then is you can basically say, okay, we'll take transform to object and we'll give it an input of epic and then return the output. So you end up with key epic. And if I change the key here, so like key two or whatever, then you end up with key two epic. So this is the structure of how hot script it's doing its thing and hot higher order type. This is a higher order type. And I'm not sure how like powerful this library is yet. It seems pretty freaking cool, but it's the fact that this pattern is now available to us as TypeScript wizards, and I think has been for a while and just hasn't been really recognized, is amazing. And I'm really, really excited to see what the community builds with this. Anyway, I've been Matt. You can look at my TypeScript course and blah, 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 blah. But I'm, I'm kind of intrigued to see if you like this style of video where I just talk at you. I kind of dig it. And it's going to mean that I can kind of give you a lot more sort of on the spot videos like this. Anyway, I'll see you very soon.